Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker, I am back. It is Thursday, April 23rd. I did think for a minute. One day just slides into the next uh, with this uh, uh, pandemic. Anyway, I have another package in today. I bid on another uh, skillet, a Griswold, and it feels kind of light. I mean, they used a, uh, it's kind of funny, they used a medium flat rate box, but it's like, I call this a Franken box the way they shipped it. I mean, it seems secure enough, but on a flat rate box, you're really not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to change the box. You're supposed to put your items in it and ship it the way it is. Uh, you can change up the other priority boxes. So if you guys ever wanted to know this for shipping, I can take a regular priority B or priority A box. And if I need to like cut off one and combine them together to ship, you can do that. This, this is crazy, and it's not very heavy, so I don't know. We'll see what's in here. Uh, it's not a huge skillet. Looks like they did a lot of good packing, though, so we have some... Uh, let's see if I can sh share this. We got some paper here. I'm going to reuse that because I think that's great to use the plain paper as opposed to newspaper for packing. Of course, I like newspaper, and that's why movers have always used it. It's a lot of bubble wrap that I can use for our future shipping. So they did pack it very, they used a lot of, of paper filling. And sorry, I keep tilting the box down. They wrapped the handle. So, so far, so good. Um, I just hope it's the right skillet. This seems so light. So we're going to go ahead and pull it out here. And I'm going to put the box, push the box aside. They have a little bit of paper down, if you can see this down here at the bottom of the box. I'm not going to reuse that. I'm just going to trash that. But they have a lot more bubble wrap here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, peel it off. And this is another one of the skillets that I bought from an auction. I read the, the seller had decent feedback. It had a decent uh, description of the item. And let me see if I can get it all this bubble wrap out. Oops, here it is. Ah. And what we have here is a six. Appears to be okay. It is a six, large logo. Uh, Griswold, and it's ripe for restoration. Doesn't appear to have any kind of cracks on it. It said the, it, no cracks and it sits flat, so we'll do the ring test. You can definitely hear it ring, and that's a good thing because it still has a lot of caked on crud with this. You can see it right here. I can actually show you the listing uh, in the next, uh, and there's a couple things I want to show you on the screen and that I will do as part of this video. So you're probably not going to be watching this until Friday, April 24th, but so far so good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to flip this or not. I do have one listed right now. I paid about 63 for that one. I paid 64 for this one. Not really that much, but it included shipping. But when I look at it this way, I went to Erie PA actually over the summer to try to find Griswold skillets. And you know what? I didn't find anything that was priced decently. And we spent a lot of gas money going there. It was like a little mini trip uh, vacation. But I figure with shipping... You know, and you're not running your car and you're saving a lot of gas, it pretty much offsets. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this into the kitchen. And we're going to go ahead and test it out on the stove. Here it is. It sits, it sits flat. Yep, I am very happy with this. I love it. I don't see any cracks at all. It shouldn't ring like that with a crack. But this is going to clean up beautifully, guys. I may keep it for my collection or I may just sell it again. Who knows? I did sell my seven, so I will show you that. That was in the video two videos ago. Either the last video or the video before that. And uh, because of how I do it, I was able to get really decent money for that one. All right, guys, I will be back. Okay, guys, this is a little closer look at it. Uh, it's a Griswold large logo, number six, made in, in probably 1930s to 1940, somewhere in there. 
it's got a lot I'm just showing you this because I'm gonna put it into lye it's got a lot of built-up seasoning on it so it's gonna take a probably two three days at least soaking in lye with scrubbings in between and doing that and just being patient will successfully strip this skillet um, it is a $6.99 the number should be right in here but there's a lot of built up uh, old gunkin seasoning on the skillet you can see there from the side I'm kind of showing this as just a record of what this looks like but it's fine it's sitting here on my desktop and it sits flat there's no wobble so I'm very happy we're going to go ahead and put this into lie and I'll show you that in just a minute okay I'm out in the garage you can see the light tank there it's about seven gallons which is about a pound and a half of pure light crystals uh, mixed to water, water added first, seven gallons of water, and then one and a half pounds of lye crystals. And I used my drip pan to carry it down, and I'm going to put my glove on now. I use these really heck thick, heavy-duty heavy, heavy, heavy duty gloves. Uh, these things I've been using now for, gosh, probably the last year or two years. They, they're heavy-duty, they last a long time, and I think I got them at either Lowe's or Home Depot, probably Home Depot. So you can see the rust in here. It's surface rust, though. It should come off no problem, hopefully. Knock on wood. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and put it into lie here. And there it is. And you just want to keep it covered away from pets and animals and small children. And there it is. So uh, anyway, I will show you the results of that on a different video. I just wanted to show you... Of my pickup, I'm happy. It's in soaking in lye, and I'm going to show you the um, either I've showed you already, or I'm going to show you now the uh, results of of buying and selling, and some more tips on that sort of thing. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I uh, just want to show you the search results for um, looking for a, a, a cast iron to restore yourself. Griswold cast iron number six. And I did this a little bit the other day, so I'm kind of kind of continue it for you guys a little bit. And uh, I want to show you this. I want to show you the one that I bought, and then I'm going to show you um, the number seven that I ended up selling. So of the three that I posted on my two videos ago, two of them are gone. Uh, two of them sold one within the hour. The other one sold the next day. I've got a little story on that. So let's get into it. So this is the first result here. And this, uh, these are by auction. There's only one that meets the criteria. This one, guys, I would seriously take a look at if I didn't already have a couple. There are five days left, so naturally there's going to be more bidders on it, but it would be a good one to watch. If we pull it up, we'll take a look at the seller. Seller has 100% feedback. They have free 60-day returns. Now, I don't know if I do that. I offer 30-day returns. Um, that buyer pays a return shipping if if uh, they don't like it. Um, if something is not as described, and I make pretty <laughs> doggone sure that I describe my listings really accurately, but uh, but at any rate, uh, this one here has uh, interesting um, features. Go down here. It says Griswold Number no. Six Large Block Logo Cast Iron Skillet. Condition is used. Skillet sits stable on a glass cooktop. They were planning on reseasoning and didn't have time, so they're going to sell it to somebody who does. So um, I would be looking at this one. Um, where does it come from? It comes from Illinois. And the seller has good feedback, free 60-day returns. There's not very many pictures, but it seems to be okay. I mean, they're claiming it sits flat. You don't like it, you can return it. So I see kind of little risk with this one. Um doesn't show a whole heck of a lot, but she's saying it's in good condition. That means no cracks. I mean, you need to disclose a crack. If you've got one with a crack, you absolutely have to disclose it as a seller, or you're going to get negged every time. All right, so we'll get out of that. We'll get out of the search results. I would definitely keep your eye on that. Five days left. Um, you could have frozen the screen there and taken um, just note of the listing. This one here... 
starts out a little bit higher, but it has a slight wobble, and it's also a small block logo. So between this one and this one, I definitely would go for this one. This one I warned you about already. This one here looks like it has fire damage. It's, it's suspect for fire damage. It starts out also at $39, and it's a small logo. Now the seller has 100% positive feedback, but they don't accept returns. So I would be a little leery on this one. That to me looked like, like it could be fire damage, not necessarily rust. Rust has like a lighter orangish color, orangish brownish color. That looks like it's almost an orangish reddish color, so I don't know, guys. And there, it's not in that picture. It's not on this side, so I, I'm not sure. I mean, if they threw it into a fire, then the fire would have gotten the bottom first. So I would probably pass by that one. If they don't accept returns at all, then why should they get my business? So there you go. Now, um, the next thing I want to show you is the one I just bought. This is what it looks like on the screen. You saw it close up. Um, the seller doesn't have quite 100% feedback, but I checked the feedback. And you click check the feedback by clicking on the rating here. And they only have one negative one. So we're going to click on that. And it says seller did not honor sale. eBay had to refund me. Do not trust seller. Well, they didn't have any more like that. So it... You know, I just had one on, on me the other day. I ordered um, something. They were out of stock. They canceled the sale. I could have given them a negative, but I'm getting my money back. If I don't get my money back, that's another story. But if I get my money back, I just went and bought one from another seller, and I ended up getting a little bit less expensive. So there you go. But there's the one that I got. No cracks or chips. They do not accept returns. Of course, I, I did like it at the time. I kind of violated my rule. I bought it. But I figure they quantify enough on the skillet. It sits perfectly flat. No wobble. Ready for cleaning. Lobel's covered. Grease. No pitting. Um, no cracks. No chips. They pretty much covered everything I was concerned about. So if, if it did arrive with those things, I could uh, return it and they would have to pay my shipping because it's a not as described item. But there was enough there that I could hang my hat on. So I decided to uh, buy it. And I'm very happy I did. All right, there's that. And then finally, I'm going to show you the skillet. You know, I bought my number seven looked very much like this number six I just got in today. So we'll go over here. And I did a search for... I, I did a search for Griswold number seven large logo restored and here is the uh, results that came up 10 results under buy it now if we click auction not too many here this one is restored there was some bids on it 10 results for auction and again some of the prices are a little bit cheaper but again there's always re that that one looks like it could be fire damaged i don't know i get real suspicious if i see red on a skillet because if it's fire damaged it will not hold seasoning period um so let's go look at buy it now mine was in really good shape and this is the skillet i um i listed it saturday and i had an offer come in the next day on sunday I put it up for $139.99 because there were comps that these skillets have sold as high for that. So I put it up for $139.99 and person offered me $100. I thought, oh, good, $100. So I checked the feedback and the buyer's most recent three feedbacks were all negatives. One was justifiable. The other two were not. I didn't want to deal with them. So I just, uh, but I thought, you know what, I'll counter them counter high I countered high and he didn't take the bait and ironically at the same time I'll just keep your eye on that at the same time there it is right there um, I got another offer for my full asking price they didn't even give me a they did not even give me um, an offer and at the time they would have seen on the listing two offers and they would have thought, oh, there's already two offers in. I better just go ahead and buy it. So that's kind of what happens. Uh, so if you're selling, 
um, and you want to get and you really think your item is worth it, I would list it as a buy it now with the best offer. You don't have to take the offer. You can decline it. You can counter it. You can ignore it. I chose to counter it. I'm so glad he didn't take me up on it. Um, I probably would have just, I probably should have sat on it, but the funny thing was the, the first buyer's declination of my counter offer came in at the same time the other guy paid my full price. <laughs> so, but there it is. I mean, just a gorgeous skillet. Gorgeous. He got a really uh, nice one there. And uh, I don't have one of those in my collection. Like, like I said, I have a small logo. Here's all the pictures of it. I was just showing you that. But these do go for good money. Um, I earned my money on that one. It took several soakings in lye and scrubbings and just a whole bunch of stuff. So there you go. But there's my 30-day return policy. And there we go. Okay, guys, I hope that kind of explains it. So if you're going to buy it now, or if you're going to, if you're going to buy one and you want to restore it, I found that the best way is auctions, but that's not always true. So you can always, to any rule, there's always exceptions. I do have one coming in that I found in a buy it now, and I was looking for an auction, and I should probably be getting it tomorrow. I'll do another unboxing on that. One for my collection, one that I've sold in the past that I kind of regretted selling. But stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, anyway, this is long enough. I uh, do thank you guys for um, watching. And please like uh, the video if you want to see more content like this. Please give it a thumb up. I'll leave a comment or question below. And go make it a great day.